I think I watched a normal amount of TV as a kid. There were two main times I'd watch it, at my parents' house on Saturday mornings while they were still asleep, and at my grandparents' house on weekdays when I didn't have to go to school because it was like an Easter break or something. The only problem with watching TV at my grandparents' house was that they didn't have that many channels. My parents had a skybox, so on Saturdays I could watch Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, you know, all the cool channels, whereas my grandparents only had Freeview, which is like a free TV service that only had about 100 channels at the time. So the only kids' channels I could watch while at my grandparents' were CBBC, Children's British Broadcasting Channel, CITV, Children's International Television, and CBeebies, Children's... Uh... Now I could tell you about all the shows that everyone watched as a kid, like Spongebob, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Biker Mice from Mars, of course, it's a classic. But why would I do that when I can tell my 94% non-British residing viewers about the wonders of British children's entertainment? So the first show is one that I'm interested to find out if anyone else remembers or watched, because honestly I thought I just dreamt about its existence before I went digging. It was called Shoot, and its premise is all explained in the intro. You're on a tour of the BBC buildings, and for some reason the tour guide shows you the rubbish dump which you fall into, or we're pushed into, and you land in a room full of VHS tapes. Oh, and there's this guy. Nice to meet you. My name's Ross. He's been trapped here for years, apparently. What does he eat? What does he drink? How does this TV work? It has to be plugged into an electrical socket. But why would there be an electrical socket in the garbage disposal? And if there's just tapes in here, why did the kid from the intro make that face as if it smells bad? Does Ross's slowly rotting alive body really smell so strongly? Or did that kid just do that to distract you so that he could push you in because he knew that you would be falling to a gruesome death? So the show is pretty cool. The idea is that all of these VHS tapes contain unaired video clips. The clips themselves, from what I remember, were a mix of deleted scenes from other CBBC shows and parodies of movies and stuff. I wish there was more I could comment on, but footage of this show is pretty difficult to find, so I'm kind of just going off this one episode that's on YouTube and what I can remember. Because at the time of making this video, the website that all the episodes were on is down. Visitors may notice downtime or website errors when accessing the website. It will be kept to an absolute minimum. Well, that's just not good enough, is it, Ross? So unfortunately, I couldn't find any episodes that still had the clips from the tapes on them. I assume for copyright reasons, which is also probably why the show as a whole is not really available anymore. But in between the video clips, there'd be these... <coughs> ...comedy segments usually about Ross trying to figure out a way out, and sometimes there'd be characters from other shows on. <coughs> Fancy a lick. What? Mm, oh, no. 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 If you were a kid who grew up in the 2000s and you don't know who these two are, who even are you? These guys are from this show, which had five seasons, and everybody watched it. At least once. The premise is that these guys live in a house, sorry, a bungalow, and they have like five kids come in and do challenges to in points, and the presenters ridicule the kids and some of them actually get kind of offended, which gets kind of uncomfortable to watch. She once called a man teacher mum. How'd you mess that one up then? I don't know. Dunno! A man teacher mum? Yeah. Silly. It weren't my fault. Do you mind? What? Stop it! Honestly, the only reason I watched this show as a kid was because sometimes they'd play this game called bogeys, where you have to say the word bogeys the loudest in a public area. And I know this game exists not just in Britain, it exists in other countries, but it's usually called something naughty. So I guess... A good thing that the show did was popularise a PG version of the game, but it still popularised the game, much to the dismay of many primary school teachers. This part of the show was actually genuinely funny. It could be fake, but... I don't know. On the 17th of January 2005, the programme was debated in Parliament. 
for its lavatorial content. Is this real? I don't know if I believe this. <laughs> Stupid was a sketch comedy series and surprisingly some of the jokes still hold up today, although some of them are kinda dumb. Or should I say, stupid. Get it? Cause that's the name of the show! Look, can you get out and give us a hand reversing, love? I'll do it! You, lend a hand, it's probably covered in grapes. Grapes? In grapes. Grapes. One of the skits I'll always remember is this one where an old granny pretends to be dead until her grandson starts crying and then she laughs in his face. It's just a prank, bro. Again, I really thought I'd have more to say about this show. It was good, for the most part, and weird in how cynical and dark some of the jokes were. I don't want to be all, oh, everything was better in the good old days, but I feel like you don't really see this kind of humour on CBBC anymore. Although I can't really say that because I haven't really checked the credibility of remotely funny into not and the dog ate my homework. So yeah, those were pretty much all of the shows that I watched as a kid that I can remember that were, were a little bit strange. All my British viewers, let me know if you watch these shows too. Talking to you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. Congratulations! You're one of 10 people who make it to the end of the video. Your reward is... Um, you get to listen to me talk about my social media? No, but seriously, I wanted to thank you for all the support that I've been getting recently. I've been getting so many comments and stuff, like within the last week, so I'm really sorry if I didn't get around to answering all of them. But thank you so much anyway. If you're subscribed to me, you should make sure that this little bell thing next to the subscribe button is checked because when you're subscribed to a lot of people on YouTube, YouTube's like, yo, you don't want to watch this many videos and it like stops giving you all of them. So if you check that, then make sure that you get every video from me. You can also follow me on Twitter because I post my videos there and I also post artwork and updates. Uh, for example, if you followed me on Twitter, you might know that the reason this video took like a month to come out is because I moved and I posted that on Twitter so that people would know that and yeah. Also if you liked any of the artwork and stuff that I use on my videos, you should check out my DeviantArt page. Um, there I post basically assets and stuff that I use in my videos, for example in the combining animals video, you can see all the animals that I drew in that video. But also things like graphics that I use in my videos, I'm going to be putting those up on DeviantArt free to use, so things like arrows and stuff, like nothing special but just something, you know, some types of graphics can be kind of hard to find on the internet so I wanted to put some stuff up for people to use if you want to. If you like my artwork then you can also follow me on Instagram. I use basically use Instagram for traditional drawings, so like drawings on paper with pens and pencils and stuff. I'm not that active on there because I don't really draw on paper that very much, but it's something that I'm trying to get back into, so hopefully I'm going to be more active on there in the, in the near future. Um, I also have a Facebook page. Not gonna lie, I don't really use it very much, but it's, it's just there. Is an alternative to like Twitter if you if you don't really use that. I basically just post whenever I'm gonna whenever I'm uploading a video so you don't miss it, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for all the support, and see you next time.